Let's talk about awkward daydreaming. And no, I'm not talking about the times where you find yourself staring into complete space in the direction of a stranger. No, although that is pretty awkward. I'm talking about the times where your body goes into full on autopilot. Last week I had some time to kill after work, so I decided to go for a wander around the Westfield Shopping Centre, headphones on, daydreaming, basically in my own little world, and I eventually come up to this group of children who are playing with these balloons above their heads, they're bouncing them up and down trying to keep them from hitting the ground. If you haven't played that game, it's a very fun game. Balloons, you have not experienced the full joy of balloons if you have not played that game. Anyway, I'm coming along in my full-on daydream little world, walking towards them whilst they bounce this balloon up, and next thing you know, BANG! <laughs> I've not punched a child because that would be illegal and I would not be filming this video. I'd be in prison, probably. I didn't hit the child. I, I hit his balloon quite far away from him, just spontaneously daydreaming. Kapow! And at that moment, I stopped daydreaming and realised that everyone is now looking at me in horror. Quite embarrassed, really. And, you know, what do you do in that sort of situation? I mean, you know, had I been cool and sort of edgy and not really caring, I might have thrown on some shades and been like, swag. But no, I just sheepishly said I was sorry to the boy, walked along, grabbed a free pretzel and left. And of course, that's just one example of awkward daydreaming. I mean, have you ever found yourself daydreaming in the morning? That's how you put a toothbrush through your hair. How about when you're making cereal? What? You just put orange juice in with your cereal instead of milk. Or how about when you're crossing the road and look to your left and oh my god, there's a bus and then... How about indirectly when someone else is daydreaming and it affects you awkwardly because you think that your girlfriend has been eaten by an animal in the zoo and you run around for ages looking for her to find that she's been daydreaming wandering around Jamie Jo. Or when you get so into daydreaming that you're wandering down a street and you are actually physically waving around your arm as if you've got a sword in your hand. Just me. I don't really regret that one, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to pretend to be a ninja in the street. Next step, I'm gonna run up a car and jump off it and be like Pucha. Have you ever found yourself awkwardly daydreaming in public? Let me know in the comments below. Also remember to throw a like on the video and subscribe for future uploads. I'm gonna get back into the swing of doing vlogs and sketches every Sunday. I'm also gonna be introducing a new thing this week where I'm gonna start some cooking videos. I'm kicking it off with some Oreo recipes. So if you like Oreos, Make sure you subscribe for that and look out for the cooking video on Thursday. Also, good news guys, I, I heard my app might go live this week. My, my app that's been a long time in development. So keep an eye out for that video if you want to make me happy. Bye.